Hi, I'm Jackie. Today I thought I'd review the Able and Coal box I got today, which is all organic. I've started to buy organic properly now because I'm only having one meal a day and it's saving me so much in shopping. It's the things from Tesco that say organic, I'm sure, are not as organic as they say. And in some cases, they're actually more expensive than buying organic from farmers and such. Abel and Co have sorted, and here's their boxes. They come wrapped in string, and I've got some organic free-range eggs. You can see the chickens on the video scratching around beneath the trees and such, so these should be full of goodness. There's some leaflets. A hearty welcome from them. Thrilled to have you on board, how to store stuff. Loads of information. A booklet on sustainability. Oh, and a nice couple of books of vouchers, which is nice. Some celery, which is packed full of goodness. It's high in salt, so it's really good for getting your electrolytes, especially when you're starting out on keto. It's also known as an, an aphrodisiac and it's great for having as a snack with cream cheese. I particularly like the cream cheese that Lidl do with garlic and herbs and it's only about 40p a tub. So a quick, cheap, easy snack. You can even have it with hummus or peanut butter or almond butter. Your choice. And I add it to soups and stews and bone broth, which I love. I've got some organic mushrooms again, I think organic, probably full of goodness. I've got a kohlrabi, now I don't know what I'm going to do with this, I understand you can have it raw, never had it before, like I said I'm trying new things and apparently you can boil it, so I might have it with some of the meat I've got in here. Here are some... Oh, a lot of Jerusalem artichokes, so I'm going to have to look at how to cook those. I might actually, when I cook something, show you it, but um, I don't have a mobile camera, so I'll have to just cook it and come and show you. This is ox cheek, it's got fat in it, although it's more protein, and I've probably stew that, like I said, with the celery in my slow cooker. I've got a wild partridge and a wild pheasant. Again, never had them before, but they look as though they'll do me quite a few days. This will probably do me two days. This will probably do me three or four. I'll probably roast these with some bacon on and perhaps a bit of sausage meat, I've got some organic sausages from Lidl's and have those with that. And some chicken livers, I love chicken livers and I'm pleased to be getting them organic now because the liver and the heart and the offal are the best part of the animal to eat. They're full of the amino acids for the essential fatty acids A, D, E and K and they just taste delicious and they make a nice pate with butter and bacon and mushrooms just cook them whiz them up and put them in put the whole mixture in the fridge a bit of garlic in it as well and it's a lovely pate so i'm pleased with my box got some ice cubes in and some packing which I'll probably recycle to use to pack stuff that if I sell anything on eBay and send it off. I like recycling. And that's my boxes. I hope you've enjoyed looking at it. It only cost me around £29, which I'm pleased with, because that always will do me well over a week. I have frozen vegetables in the freezer, because I believe that they are the best because they're packed at sauce and frozen usually at salt so they should be full of goodness rather than the veg in the 
vegetable section of the supermarket, which has often come a long way and is even imported and not in season. I'm trying to eat in season as well, like our ancestors. So, I hope you've enjoyed me going through my box and I'll update you when I've got some more interesting stuff to put on. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.